What's up, fellas? Back again. That's right. I'm here at my home, and we're doing a new video for you. Kind of a different one. A little catch and cook. That's right. It's Christmas time. Figured I'd drop a little present for you and show you how to cook. Triple tail. That's right. Triple tail. We went on an unbelievable fishing trip with my boy Josh. That's right. Catching big triple tail, and we said we're going to do a catch and cook with the man, the myth, the legend, Sam Edwards. What's up? What's Gotta up, be careful guys? of that knife, my friend. So here's what we're doing. We're gonna leave you guys here in just a second and show you some fishing footage. That's right, because you got on the channel to see some epic fish catches. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you how to cook triple tail. And he's gonna do a special recipe. We're gonna talk all about it. It's gonna be awesome. So let's get right to the action. Check it out. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, guys. You're welcome, welcome to Black Tip H. That's right, you know what we're doing today? We're going triple tail fishing. He invited me to go with Scott Lum. That's right, big triple tail coming at you. I'm taking you down. How about that for a quick opening? Let's go fishing. Is that not crazy or what? Now look, I've caught triple tail before, but I've never in my life caught triple tail that big. Josh put me on and that was awesome. And matter of fact, guys, we are gonna have a full fishing video because we caught like 20 of them. We caught a bunch of triple tail, so there's gonna be a video dropping soon after this one, so be sure to check it out. But getting back to the cook and catch, this stuff is looking amazing. Sam, what is the plan for tonight, my friend? Well, we're gonna start with some ceviche. This Ooh. triple tail, I call it the bluegill in the yeah. blue water, yeah. because it's nice and firm and super white, and it gets really, really, it takes this acidity. We've got some sour oranges from the woods out yeah. here near Clewiston, and we're going to let it marinate, and then while that marinates, we're going to get some fillets going on the Traeger. Dude, I'm all about it. I love learning new recipes. Okay, so we're cutting this meat into cubes. It's very important that the cubes are of similar size because it marinates in the citrus. As it marinates in that citrus, the citrus cooks it. So if one cube is bigger than the other, then it's not gonna get cooked all the way to the middle like the smaller cube. So it's very important that they're all the same size. Okay, so now that we've got the fish cut up into cubes, we're gonna start marinating it. So I've got this glass bowl here. That looks like money, dude. That okay, looks like money! Is, this is the cleanest fish, Scott, I'm telling you. I was so wow. excited when you called me wow. and told me about this. So we've got some of the sour throw it in there. juice Just right here. Right? So this has acid in it, lots and lots of acid. That's sour orange. Sour orange. So you don't eat this orange, like if you ate this orange by yourself, you would not like it, because that's right. why they call it sour. So we're gonna let this sit in here and marinate for about 20 minutes. Now if somebody didn't have sour orange, just say they live like somewhere else. Right, what so you have you no use? sour orange juice. Mm -hmm. You can use a mixture of lime juice and normal store-bought orange juice that you drink every morning. Okay, orange juice and lime juice mix it together. Right. Okay. So we'll say about 50-50 lime juice to orange nice. juice. Yeah. Right. Okay. I like it. So now I'm just gonna salt it up a little bit. This will help the the fish marinate, the salt helps the, the fish, it helps to brine it, helps to cure it, mm -hmm. which is exactly what we're looking for. All right, so here's what we do on boats. So there's a lot of fishing trips I go on, and like literally, we could have done this yesterday if I'd have prepared. You can take these ingredients, here's what's neat about it. You take the sour orange juice, you take some salt, you have it in a bag, have it in a container, you catch a, a fresh fish, fillet it, literally clean it, cube it up like this, put it in a Tupperware bowl or whatever, put the ingredients in like he's doing, and just let it sit and fish. And then when you come in from fishing, or halfway through your trip, you pop it open, good to go. People do it all the time, it's awesome. Yeah, I get invited on lots of Christmas, uh, fishing trips just because I uh, make ceviche for everybody. Nice. All right. Bam, right there, just like that. All cleaned up, ready for the grill, my friend. 
We've got some uh, something here from Traeger. We have some salt. And we have the most important person in the world right now, Mr. Sam. Time to head to the grill, dude. Let's, Let's go tear it, it up. Let's it's it. raining outside. It's raining like a lot. So that is a problem. Well, it's a good thing we got the official Scott Martin Challenge Outdoor Kitchen. We do have that. Let's do it. Okay, so Scott. <laughs> I'm so excited. People complain to me all the time. Yeah. Sam, my fish sticks to the grill every time I try and cook it on the right. Well, easy solution. You put a thin slice of an onion on the grill. It really? offers a, it's a buffer for the heat, so yeah. the fish cooks nice and slowly and evenly. Yeah. It imparts some nice flavors. If you want to eat it, you can. It's great. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And you don't have to use onions really? either. I've never done that. You can use whatever you want. Really? It, it allows you to still get that grilled smoke flavor that you get from the Traeger, this nice clean smoke. Yeah. But you don't have to deal with your fish falling apart. You don't have to deal with it sticking to the grate. It just yep. makes it nice and easy. That's what I love about the Traeger is because it's indirect heat. So what we have here is wood chips. Basically right there, and they have different flavor wood chips. This is actually cherry. Uh, it's there's, They have different flavors for different things. But you just put the wood chips in there, literally turn this thing on. Let it get the heat and then set your temperature right now, which we've got it cranked up. We've had the lid open, but it's at 243 now, but we're going to cook this in what, about three, 375. 375 is where he's wanting to cook this meat. So the best part about a Traeger, chicken, pork chops, fish, you're not going to burn it. You're not going to like char it up. You can literally set it, get everything working right and go and tend to something else. Come back and your fish is ready. So Scott, I put this, I put this the onion down. And after I put the onion down, I like to layer paper thin slices of citrus to put the fish on. This imparts nice citrus flavor. It keeps it from being too oniony, which can be a problem sometimes uh, for people that don't so like onions. So you just onion. got thinly sliced? Just thinly sliced. Lemons and limes. Lemons and limes. And as those heat up, the oils in the skin are going to, they're going to uh, volatilize and go up in the air and, and get into that really? fish. Yes. I can't even spell the word volatize. All right, so you seasoned the bottom of the fillets yep. with the Traeger Veggie Shake. And now we're going to do the top? Yeah, so we got the bottom seasoned. We're going to season the top. We're going to do exactly what we did, but in reverse. So after we season it, we're going to put a couple of uh, citrus slices on there as well. Boom! That's how we do it right there. See, I was going to do BAM, because I do BAM at the end of my videos, but being that it's a cooking show or a catch and cook, Emerald Agassi might get a little mad. We may get a letter. Yeah, you know we might I mean? not. Yeah, we so might we have to do make boom, it mad, yeah. and we'll do BAM later on. So, now that we've got it set, everything laid on there, what do we do now? That's the best part. We set it to 375, and we close it up, and we let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes until that dish is nice and tender. Really? That's Just come it. out? Come out and check it a couple times, make sure. And if it's a thinner or a smaller piece, it would be a little bit less. Right, Obviously right. Obviously, a bigger might be a little bit bigger. Right, depends on what kind of fish you got cooking. Well, dude, here's the best part I love about this trailer, is you can literally close the lid and go chill. Mm -hmm. Check on that ceviche. Maybe yes, some of that. Let's do it. Okay, so we're transferring this fish uh, from the sour orange juice over to a dry bowl. We're going to keep this sour orange juice because we're going to need it later. Let's mix up the ceviche. Super simple. We've got some red onion, finely diced. We've got some tomato that I peeled and seeded. It's very important to cut the peeling and seeds out. Mm. See, I would have never done that. I would have just cut it, diced it, seed, peel and all. We've got some fresh cilantro, roughly chopped. And then I've got a red and an orange habanero that I diced really? very finely and I took all the seeds out. So we're just going to start with a little bit because we can always add more. And if you don't want habanero, you can use jalapeno, you can use whatever you want. How about ghost reaper peppers? You can yes. use ghost reaper peppers. <laughs> I'm going to say Brandon likes habaneros. ghost reaper peppers. He's had to eat a few of them lately. Yeah, I've heard about that. I, I'm going to I'm going to stick to the uh, to the habanero. Now this is the lime juice that you so actually This is the juice that it around. marinated. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just going to add some of that in there. It's going to continue yeah, not, to not all of it, right? Not all of it. Yeah. We don't want to make soup. We just want to get it nice and wet mm -hmm. where there's you can see the liquid in there, but it's not covering anything. Right. I've had this in restaurants, and everybody cooks a little bit different. But honestly, 
what I just ate right there, and I didn't even eat it with all the extra stuff in there, was the best ceviche I've ever had. So whatever he just put in there, and whatever he told you about putting in there, if you want an awesome ceviche recipe, that's exactly what you need to do. Let's give it a try. Dude, I'm all about it. Guess what? We're not in the kitchen anymore. You know why? Because Sam's cooking was so off the chain, it corrupted the last five files. Yes, it exploded them. They're gone. We don't know what to do. Man, I can't believe that mm. happened. But I will say this. Sam, how good was that fish? That fish was off the charts. Dude, the ceviche, the triple tail on the Traeger, it did not get any better than that, my friend. The Traeger gets it right every time. I'm it, telling you. It, it really does, guys. If you're looking for a good smoker, you're looking for a good grill, it's right around Christmas time as well. Be sure to check out the links in the description below for all that. Also, be sure to follow this guy because you know why? Sam Edwards is starting his own YouTube channel. He doesn't have right. a single video up yet. He doesn't right. even know what he's going to call his channel. So drop some comments below and let us know what his channel should be called. So guys, appreciate it. we're going to see you, man. Sam, thank you very much. You know all what right. to do, my friend. All righty. We'll see you next time. Bam! Bam!